What's up, Samurai? We are back again for some more Tears of the Kingdom. I was gonna say Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're finally gonna do it. We're finally gonna go into the last big zone, which is the desert. I don't know if this is where the last dungeon is, because as far as I could tell, uh, like somewhere way over there in the distance, there's like, I, I don't know where it is specifically, but there's like a big storm cloud. That actually might be it right there. It looks a little musty. Um, I don't know whether or not that storm cloud is related to the desert. Because I don't know, like, I don't know where the last dungeon is. I'm assuming it's in the desert just because we got the Gerudo town and all of the other areas have been the exact same. Save for the special final dungeon, which I'm assuming is in the depths just because we kind of stumbled upon it at another point in time. Oh! I didn't even notice this shrine. Uh, let me actually change my sensor to go back to shrines. Because, uh, wait, why did it say shrine of light? Off? Oh. I don't know. I wanted to turn it off of the Lazolfos because I had it on Lazolfos because I was farming the resources for the Great Fairy, which... I don't know if we'll end up getting the fourth great fairy, uh, great fairy today, because most of all, I really just want to go into the desert. The desert was one of my favorite areas um, in Breath of the Wild, and the first area I went to in Breath of the Wild. So it only makes sense that we're going to it finally now at the end of it all. Okay, this has got to do with electrical uh, an electrical current, which is still cool. We've done puzzles like this very similarly in Breath of the Wild already. So it's not super duper crazy and mind boggling. That's the thing, dude, like as much as, um, I like, don't get me wrong. I, I love this game. Pendulum. I love this game. I genuinely do. Um, but I still feel like the big thing that this game does like for better or worse is it barely scratches the surface of these fantastic ideas, you know? Like, I, I know that they do that on purpose, but it just kind of is still so surprising to me how there's like so few, um, so few things that are fully realized in, uh, in this game, okay? So I can use this myself to do this. And I'm guessing the gear that I just stole that from was probably treasure up top, which is... I mean, the treasure is good sometimes, but most of the time it's not really worth it. Okay, and aside from that, we've got our stable that we can unlock and grab the dude's quest. Also, so these sign guys, I've been marking them. Honestly, I don't know if I need to because I don't think that I'm ever going to get all of them anyways. And on top of that, I don't know if you need to get all of them. You know, like it's it's totally... Hello? Will I ever clean all this up? I'll clean it up for you. Um, it more so seems like... It more so just seems like something that you would end up like doing passively rather than something that you would uh, go and actually like collect all of them. Like it's not like, it's not like Boca blends or not Boca blends. It's not like the Koroks and stuff. It's more about, at least to me, it feels like it's just about getting the temporary item out of them. And then that's that, right? I could be mistaken. Don't worry, I'm cleaning it all up for you, bruddy. Yep, bruddy. Here we go. I'm totally, this is all safe. Okay, no, it's safe. This is fine. <laughs> Burn down the whole stable. I cleaned it for you, bro. Now you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, did that do it? Hey, man. 
Oh, good job. Uh, I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way and set the stable on fire and it didn't end up burning up. Thanks to this extreme weather, nobody really walks through here. Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone shouldn't come through here, not to mention that mushrooms grow inside it. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore or if it's even any important. I recommended uh, Car Car Bazaar just head out of here, turn west, keep going for a while, and well, there you go. You can find transportation at the desert's entrance and get there in no time. It's to those weird seals from Breath of the Wild. Uh, oh, all the junk's gone. Cool. Thanks, man. I love you very, very much. Oh, thanks for the pony point. Sweet. Uh, what do we get? I don't know. Probably an era kite theme or something. Oh, I forgot about those. Uh, the Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. They sort of got buried under all this junk. Wait, what? Is that where I put photos or something? Or is it where bounty boards show up or something? I don't know, but uh, the quest apparently isn't done. Oh, never mind, it is. Uh, bro? Do you got an error quest or something? Thanks for helping me clean up, bro. I wanted to put a bunch of pictures of myself on the wall, but it won't let me. <laughs> what do you mean it won't let you? It's your place. Okay, what about you, bro? Why would she do this? Oh -ho! Wait, he's like a journalist, so he's a bra, see? I always forget their voices. What's br because I don't see them for like days. I've heard the, uh, the visitors stop coming by the stable, so this place had to shut down. But here you are. Uh, the change in temperature here yeah, aren't nearly as extreme right now as it used to be once back in the day. I've come to this stable because my sources were chirping uh, about a problem in the well here. Princess Zelda declared it off limits, she said. But without its water, the stable couldn't keep travelers and horses or anything like that. So we, there's a steady supply of mushrooms at the very least. Anyways, go down the well and see what's down there, okay, boy? Blocked well my foot. I'm in water? Like, what are you talking about, bruh? Oh. Okay, wait a minute. This stupid lizard, I need these guys, like, a lot. Not necessarily the hardy lizard, um, but the lizards in general, I need a lot of their resources. <laughs> eh. Oh. <laughs> to, um... Watch out, Tulin, idiot. Wait, what? Uh, oh, that's a white one. Okay. Hiya. Okay, uh, I need a big boy damage weapon. There you go, yes. Yes. I'll kill you with your own weapon, you stupid idiot. All right, get up, wakey wakey. So the funny thing is that they, uh, the creatures literally turn around uh, from where, where, where you were, uh, like, in Breath of the Wild, what the enemies would do when you sneak up on them is you could basically just spam sneak attack them over and over again. So what this game does to compensate for that is it makes it so that, um, they automatically turn towards where Link is before they end up attacking. Hey, dude, show yourself. Show me them big, ugly teeth. Come on. Thank you. Now die. I don't want to waste more of this sword if I don't have to. Thank you, Tulin. Thank you. It's not windy enough down here, so Gora, uh, give Rudo Claymore. Attaching a material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. Weird. Uh, I mean, I like the sword, but let's let's drop this. Thank you. Thank you for blowing away my like-like orb. There we go. I don't even know why I need this like-like orb, but whatever. <laughs> I still haven't found a use for any of them. Um, where'd, that, where'd that item... Where'd the sword go that I just dropped on the ground? Oh, it blew away, of course. Wait, I got an idea. What if I do this? Oh. I wanted to attach it to the chest, but that's cool. What are you? An Electro one. Okay, I think I fought these ones before. What? What just happened? No, I don't. There we go. Stupid camera. Okay, uh, Electro meaning that water will take care of him? Because usually the way that these guys are all set up is um, certain elements will just one-shot them. 
Okay, it's not water. Uh, ice? Is ice the weakness of electricity? No, that's the weakness of fire. I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> what is your weakness, you stupid idiot? Oh, God. Uh, so every time I hit him, he's going to electrify the water. That's not good. So I guess I'll just, oh boy. Ow! What, what just happened? What? Oh, I cleared the dungeon. I heard monsters down there. Are you okay? No, I need those items. You better not teleport me out or I'll kill you. I will make a stew out of your feathery... Oh my god, I hate you. Why do you always do this? In this game, they always teleport us away from the quest, and it's so annoying. Wait, go on and add this to your next partner. What about four? What did he just say? I wasn't paying attention. He sent along a bonus. We finally got a piece of the stupid frog suit! Thank you! That took, like, way too long. Stupid idiot. Sour long! Yeah, later, bro. I hope those items didn't despawn. Okay, frog suit. Slip resistance. So... <laughs> that's kind of cute. So the point being is that the uh, full frog suit would make it so that we are... Uh, we can end up climbing even in the rain. Maybe we already can, like, with this part of the frog suit. I don't know. But I really, really want the stupid frog suit. I don't know what he said about four. Was he saying that we only did four dungeon or four stables? Or was he saying there was only four left? I don't know. It doesn't really matter anyway. Toasty bright cap. Oh, because they got set on like because they got electrocuted. There is a decent amount of mushrooms in here. OK, I might have to mark this area for later if I ever need to grind these stupid mushrooms. But OK. <laughs> Back to the desert. I said back. Back to the desert. There we go. This frog suit's weird. Oh god, and apparently it's cold. <laughs> is that is that because of the frog suit or I gotta upgrade the stupid frog suit too? Oh lord. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna put this whole outfit on just to be cool. Right? Also, why is this Goron even here? Like, this dude already said nobody comes here anymore, but sure, whatever, bro. I want to go home. <laughs> Me too, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Desert time. Whoa. Whoa. It's changed so much, dude. Like, there was never a shrine up there. I don't know if there was one over there, but that's still really cool. Oh, Lord, it's beautiful. I don't know what it is, man. I just, I really like the desert in this game. It's just done so well. So that's a heat resistant food. <gasps> Are you okay, bro? I need to reach my friend. Please, I peed my pants. Oh, and then that Gerudo lady is just like, <laughs> stupid Korok. Like, there's the smoke signal. I can't move though. Yeah, cool. Ah, <gasps> uh, there's a sled here. I totally thought I would be able to attach him to it. Do you sell a sled? The sled. I can't help but smile every time I got customers, whether it be one or a hundred. Okay. Sand shroud. Uh -huh. What? Uh, if you're interested in sand seals, then you're in the right place. Uh, this is a shop where you can buy them and travel with them, blah, 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 blah. Sand seal surfing. Instead of walking like an idiot, I'll rent one. Um, wait, what? A sand seal with a courier sled is 50 rupees. Okay. How does surfing work or how do I catch one? No, I, I can figure that out. I'll rent one. I want a sleigh seal, please. So crazy. Um... Watch out for rocky areas, okay? Thank you. Uh-huh. Game. Oh. Ah. Dude, now the question is, can I... First of all, let's make him a little bit toasty. There you go. Delicious. And then... 
Okay, that's pretty huge because if we can attach him to this, that means we could essentially just make a vehicle on this sled, like in general. So I could put guns on it is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, dash, there we go. That's cool. I like that. They, they basically had these in Breath of the Wild as well. They just didn't have the sled. There's a big storm in the desert. That makes me a little bit worried. That's uh, very reminiscent of... Oh, that's reminiscent of Ocarina. Dude, you know what would be dope? Thank you. Here's my balls. Uh, what would be insane is if the desert... Like, if there was a desert temple in this game similar to... Uh, well, that looks weird. Similar to in Ocarina. I would lose it, dude. That would be so cool. Like, if we had to, like, go through the... Whoa. Okay, it seems like there might actually be something a little bit more interesting going on here. But let's take a quick break and go into this shrine, shall we? A sliding device. Well, that's cool because I'm using sleds right now anyway. Oh, you know what I just realized? Yeah. Th these sleds have been in the game the whole freaking time and I've been, I've been utilizing them, kind of. Uh, but not, not realizing, oh, use them in the desert, forehead, you know? Like, obviously, that just makes sense. It's okay, I'm pretty big brain. Of course I knew, uh, that would work. Alright, what about this now? What are they trying to show us here? So they're trying to sh Wait a minute. Okay, so I can do this with the sled and... What is, why are they showing it like this though? Do I sink in the sand or is it that the sand slowly pushes me back? It drains my stamina like crazy and then eventually I probably just drown. Okay. That's kind of weird because like. Okay, that kind of worked. I, I was going to say like, it's odd that like, what if I came in here and I didn't have a fan myself? <laughs> Is basically what I was going to say. Alright, hovercraft! I mean, it kind of works. Dude, that means there's probably a mechanic like this out in the desert with, like, uh, running sand or something. I mean, maybe not. But that's really cool, actually. I like that mechanic a lot. It's kind of the same as, like, flowing water, but... We're actually buoyant because for some reason, none of the boats or things that I ever end up making in this game float. They always sink. Bizarre. All right, sweet. Yeah, see, there's like another sled right there and stuff. Okay. Are you the quest giver? Are any of you the quest giver? I got sand in my eye. What is this ball? <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't... Oh. Gaha! Isn't this orb great? I bet it's every bit as expensive as it is old. Apparently someone in Gerudo Town is investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Oh. Okay. Weird. Um. Strange. Very strange. There's a shop. Always be vigilant. Okay, cool. What do you got here? Milk. The other thing. <gasps> If the heat bothers you, you can get your hair done up in a bun. Okay. 450. My God. I mean, it would work. Like, he's got a thick head of hair. So, yeah, that would totally work. I'll tell you a super secret uh, special thing that even most Gerudo don't know about. That can be all yours for the low price of... What? Gerudo armor for males. Contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to uh, make heat more bearable. Sweet. All right. Tell me your secret. Okay. Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vo series. There's also a spolder and trousers. Uh-huh. But you have to go to the special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Uh, the secret shop is located behind that store. Now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there because I don't have my female outfit this time. Lazolfo tail. Okay. Oh. 
You think that that's a quest or something? I don't know. Thank God we have some heat resistance, though. That'll help out a lot. I was going to say, why is there an icon like this? But that's just showing that this is like a hub area with special stuff in it. There's another shop in here. Choo-choo jelly. Ah. Need some travel security? I mean, I might need the choo-choo jelly at some point. Now I know that this shop sells it. Uh, it's dangerous to go through the desert. Uh, a stocked pouch is the best defense. Buy my stuff. Do I even have anything to sell? I honestly don't know. Do I have like gems or emeralds? Oh, by the way, I didn't even know for the longest time. Apparently you can only carry uh, like four or five fairies and then the game just stops spawning them. The only reason I know that is because I've gotten to like four or five fairies multiple times and every time I do, the game stops spawning them. So yeah, there you go. I know I had a diamond somewhere. There it is. Oh my God, I've got four of them. Yes, 2000 rupees. Read it and weep. Give it to me. Give me the money. Show me the money. Okay, how do I actually get to Gerudo Town, dude? None of you seem to... None of you seem to tell me things about this. I'm worried. About what? Um, do you happen to know about Lurland Village? What? I haven't even heard of it. I can't expect you to know it's fate. Lurland Village is high rules. Southeastern coast. Small fishing town. Oh, the pirates! The pirate event. Yeah, they keep on talking about that. So that's clearly something I'm supposed to go and do. Also, look at this. I swear, Ascend is uh, probably my favorite ability in this game. It's the one I use the most, and it just negates like all of the uh, wasted effort of running around and trying to figure out where to climb and junk, dude. Like, there's just, I don't know. There's something about it. I just, I really, really enjoy the ability. All of the abilities are great, obviously, but Ascend has a special place in my heart. Look at this. I don't need to climb the ladders like an idiot. Wait, did it just say that the Master Sword was back in business? Yes, it did. Heck yeah, dude. I love the Master Sword. Okay, can I? Aha! Beautiful. Why climb ladders when you can climb the sky? <gasps> Hello. Gaz Gadzoots. It'll be done soon. <laughs> what are you? Listen, this is the lighthouse for the bazaar. I'm not a tourist destination or a place to play around with. That said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, there's something about you can see over the sand shroud. I can see over it? <gasps> yes, I can. Interesting. There is a uh, golly gee Williker Scott. This seems really cool. Okay. Okay. Should we just go for it? I wonder if there's like a titanic monster in there that's just going to eat me alive as soon as I go in. Or it's one of those things where we have to go in here from the uh, from from the sky. That could be a thing. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Okay. That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, so what are these things then? So my radar is not working anymore. And I can barely see anything. Uh, I mean, this is cool, but it's kind of horrifying at the same time. What about when I go in here? Does that change it and make a difference? Okay. I think this direction... I think this is where the Gerudo town was. <laughs> I'm going to trust my instincts and try and... Oh, Lord. What is that? Okay, let's just say... Oh, it's one of the dragons. I like how I can still take his picture. Okay. Uh. Why is it so quiet in here? I don't like this. Like, it's not even, like, like, loud or anything. It's silent. And it's freaking me out. Because does that mean there's a demon in here going to eat me or something? Like, I don't like this. There's torches. <gasps> Dude, it is, it is giving me vibes of uh, Ocarina, though. Because that's what you had to do in Ocarina as well, was you had to kind of follow the torches and the lights and stuff. Oh, that's the Bokoblin camp, right? 
Yeah, it totally is the evil camp. Okay. New... Eh, maybe not new. Thank you. Thank you, Tulin. I appreciate what you do, bro. Beautiful. Okay. Um... Oh, God. It's so oddly quiet, dude. Like, it, it almost feels like the sound design made a bit of a mistake. I guess it's a haze rather than a sandstorm. Although I kind of feel like it being a sandstorm would have been really, really cool. Okay, let's see about getting to the top of whatever this thing is. Ooh! Wait a minute. What is this? No, 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 no. That's going to be a giant, like, antlion monster or something, isn't it? Ah, I don't like this. The air has become very hot. Okay, cool. Uh, that means I need, like, the hotness outfit. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Like, th this is fireproof outfit. It's not heat resistance. Do I have any heat resistance food? Yes, I do. Okay, let's risk it. What's going to happen now? Unless that warped me to the depths, which would be actually terrible. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, what was I just saying about how cool it would be to be able to have... A cave dedicated to this one mechanic? Get up there, you idiot. Dude. Oh, hey, cutums. Uh, do I have anything that can destroy you in one hit? Yes, I do. Hey, little buddy. Sorry. Well, that amber's gone. Get him, Tulin. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked. The items just fall out of the map. This is awful. Truly awful. There's all of this ore around here, but I know without a doubt I can't get it. So why would I even bother trying, dude? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is this a big one? Yes, thank you. Because I need... Climb, you moron. I need big ones, like, really, really badly. Um, because they're actually required for, uh... Hey, buddy boy. They're required to upgrade some of my armor. The glowing mining set. Come on. Come on. Thank you, dum-dum. Alright, do you actually got anything worthwhile? Hopefully, two chests. Huh. I don't know if that's related to him, but usually they just have a weapon. Gerudo bow, quick shot. That's uh, that's a really good one, actually. Let's see, what can I get rid of? I don't want to get rid of the Ganon bow, because that thing's like god tier. I'll get rid of this, I guess. It is weaker, but I don't care, just because I like having new things, okay? Royal shield, crap. Um, do I have a Garbo shield I can get rid of? Yeah, I kind of do. Uh, I guess I can get rid of this one. It's not great. Okay. So, apparently there's a shrine. I wonder if this is, uh... Is this an indicator? Like, is this like a secret? Like, oh, I got to the end of the cave. Now I go up and ascend through the sky. And then suddenly we're at this shrine? No. Maybe that's the spot that it wanted me to ascend to? Okay, let's go back under. Because apparently there's a shrine around here. Unless... Oh! There you are, you scumbag! Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get his item. Because the sand is eating him. Okay, well, I might drown in the sand after going for this, but... No, you stupid idiot! I hate you, Tulin! I hate you so much! You're the worst! Oh my god. Okay. Can't Stop! He's getting caught on everything, dude. Okay, apparently over there... ...is where it is. Can I just ascend out of here in, t in general? 
Okay, so that shrine is clearly like out in the surface and got nothing to do with this cave. I think this cave was literally just to get that thing. Like maybe there's something else in here. Maybe there's a secret or something, but that's okay. I can go there another time. Oh yeah, look at that. There's no, well, I was gonna say, there's no more shrine. Clearly there's no more shrine. Guess why, dum dum? Because I have no radar up here. So obviously it's not going to be able to detect the shrine. Uh, all right, what's this? Well, there's one of these idiots. I need this. And then is this a vehicle station? What are you? Gibdo! No, they're in this game. Are you serious? That's actually really cool, but scary at the same time. They somehow made them even more horrifying. Do they freeze me? Yeah, you get him, Tulin. Uh, they're horrifying. Uh, okay, blunt weapon does nothing. Arrows knock them down, but that's all it really does. Master Sword. Surely the Master Sword. Oh, dear Lord. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, can I mark this area, by the way? No, I can't mark anything. All right, I'm sorry, little buddy, but I'm gonna... Shock Fruit. Is it a sign? Is shocking what hurts them? He's gross! Ew! Okay, shocking is, uh... They're, they're horrifying. They're actual, like, demons. They're actual monsters that belong, like, in a different video game. That's so... Dear Lord. What an actual, like, demon. Gibdo guts. Gross. Um, it said they're very effective, vitality-rich ingredients that are useful in elixirs. Gibdo bone. 40 damage? It breaks e easily due to its odd shape. Okay. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, dude. That really... See, that's the thing that's so crazy about this game. You got enemies that are, like, specifically locked to, like, biomes, dude. Like, you don't ever see these things anywhere else. And it's nutty. You know? Alright, what's up, little buddy? My friend and I got separated. No. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I'm not... No. I'm not... I'm not gonna help you. I'm sorry. Okay, where am I? Is this... Is this... Okay, this is something. It's something. I don't think that this is Gerudo Town. But hopefully we can get uh, an aerial view that'll help out. Yeah, it looks like we can go up top and then maybe we would be able to look over the haze. I think that's what that Gerudo lady was trying to teach us. But I want to see who's in here. You have my support. Cool, bro. Oh. I can sleep in here, apparently. Gerudo Lookout posts a uh, log book recorded by Sudri. No raids, monster attacks, bandit ends, and ba -ba 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 -ba. no matter how quiet it gets, I can't leave my post. Hmm. Uh, I've gotten word that this lookout post is going to be shut down. Worried, but it turns out it wasn't a case to call. Uh, Carbazar, Gerudo Town, communicate better. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's no reason to maintain the lookout post. It's invisible, which. The worst sandstorm has to offer over to the car post. And yeah, 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 yeah. We know we got to go to the car post. Today's the last day of the lookout. It's a bit sad. I've been asked to supervise the new training area being built at the Southern Oasis. I feel honored to be training our soldiers. Mm-hmm. Stop reading. Okay. Well, I don't even know what I would use to hold that sign up, honestly speaking. Like, of the dude that's down low. Okay, thank you, stupid. Whatever. He just didn't jump at all. Like, I hate that sometimes. Oh, the ladder goes all the way up anyway. Oh, thank God. We can actually see things. <gasps> uh, where's Gerudo Town? 
Was that a giant demon? Or was that... No, there's something in the sand there. There's something over in the sandstorm. I don't like it. Is that the town? Oh, there's a demon down there. Maybe it's just the reflective water surface or something. I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay. I really have no idea where it is, so I'm just gonna... What? Um... Okay, whatever. I just did the exact same thing this time, and then this time it just worked for some reason. Thanks for the fifth seed, uh, foolish, beautiful cutums. Ascend. Ascend, I said. Okay, um, you know what? I wonder if I could squeeze... Yeah, I, I got an idea. I think it's finally time. To, oh dear lord, I didn't know it cost 57. Okay, whatever. It'll be funny for the video. Here we go. I never had enough energy to use this thing efficiently. No, 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 you piece of crap! How dare you? You cost me so much to level up and create, dude. Okay, so the point is I, I made this stupid helicopter like a really, really long time ago because it's got like a spinning wheel in the middle of it. That's kind of the part that makes it actually like aerodynamic enough to work. Except it really drains my energy. <laughs> Why is this so bad? This was not worth the amount that it costs to craft. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Dang it, dude. I was really hoping that it would, like... Oh, that's not even worth it. You stupid helicopter thing, dude. Alright, I'm assuming that's Gerudo Town. I'm just gonna head in that direction. Alright, fine, you dumb helicopter. Fine. I spent so much time working on that stupid thing. And then after it all is said and done, you're telling me... You're telling me that it costs... Uh, it costs that much to craft it? And then at the end of it all, it was useless. You know what? Just for that, just for that, guess what? I just got two favorite slots unlocked. Good. Also, I did see a demon over there. Uh, mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, these are like the stems of the other mushrooms. Just this one's still intact. That's cool. That's a neat way of getting up to the top. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Uh, wow. Well, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's Gerudo Town. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe it isn't. I'm just gonna head this way anyways and hope for the best. And while we're at it, I hope I don't get eaten. And I'm also extremely curious. How am I going to, uh, let's go for this rock just for safety measures. How am I going to get into Gerudo Town without being eaten alive? Like, not, not by whatever creature is in the sands here, but by, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a female Gerudo. Like, it's a female-only town. Or at least they say it is, and then you still got into it in Breath of the Wild anyway. But we needed our, like, outfit. Oh, hey, look at that. In my loading screen, though, we can get a kind of sneak peek of the map. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about that. When we get high enough up, yeah, when we get high enough up, we could use that to our advantage to uh, look around and see what's what. Yeah, that would work. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? There we go. What? What? Wait, what? Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this trick instead. <laughs> yes, I could make fire arrows, but whatever. I guess the point is that they just want us to light the flame. That's cool though, that's kind of like a traditional Zelda puzzle type thing. All right, what about this? What is this? What? What, what? Do I have to write it down or something? I'll do this and 
We'll see what happens. Oh, it's not even heavy enough. Great. Okay. What about... Oh, there it is. Okay, I... What do they want me to, like, place on this thing, though? Like, okay. I guess I'll just waste an item and do it myself, then. Fine. This place is weird. I can't take out a device anyways, even if I wanted to. What, 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 what am I supposed to use to weigh this thing down, dude? Okay, I'm gonna put the torch back into its original spot and, oh, I can just travel down here already. Well then. And here I thought. Mighty construct bow. I mean, that is a good bow, but. Okay, so they <laughs> I don't know if this is intentional. Uh, I think what they wanted me to do was um, put the torch down in the right spot, lower the platform, lift it up, use recall so that the torch would go up into the air while I was standing on the platform, I think. Or maybe I did the exact same, the exact thing that they wanted me to do and I could have just shot my arrows through those bars. But I think that I boosted myself up just enough that we were able to uh, shoot our arrows across. I, I, I don't know. That was a weird one. Okay, so based on where we came out of the uh, shrine, like I, I saw the map for like a split second. And uh, I think, I could be mistaken, that the town is in this direction. Just because I saw an icon on the map, and when we came out of the shrine, it showed where Link was facing, and there was some sort of structure up here to the north. I hope I'm actually going north. But it honestly might have already been one of the structures that we went to, so I don't know. But I mean, I started actually making some cuts. I thought that this was, like, really cool and interesting, and I wanted to experience it with you guys, but now we're getting to the point where it's just... It's confusing me. <laughs> But at least we do got another Gibdo, and I really like those guys. They're really cool. I wonder whether or not I could get a mask of them. Okay, actually, you know what? It looks like we came right back to where I was. Gibdo spawn at night. I see. Uh, but now that I actually know, and I'm not an idiot, I can just look at my map. Oh, that is Gerudo Town. So it is right over there. Okay, sweet. I mean, I try my best to get there, but I don't know. Come to think of it, I wonder I wonder whether or not we were supposed to be using um, one of the sleighs, like the sleds. Because <laughs> we probably could have used the sea um, otter thing or the, the sand, you know, the sand seal. Probably could have used him to get in here. Okay, is this actually Gerudo Town? Uh, because it kind of looks abandoned. And there's nothing but Gibdos in here. Oh my dear lord. Why is there nothing but Gibdos in here? All the villages, all the doors are like sealed up and everything. What is happening? What What is happening? A Gerudo spirit. Okay, I didn't even know that was a Gerudo spirit. It looked the exact same as everything else. Dude, this is terrible. The whole town has just turned evil. There's a secret entrance right there in the well. I can take that, but I found you. Hey, bro. Another voice. Wait, what? Hey. What's going on? That That's actually really cool. That gives me Majora's Mask vibes. Um, Now there's no one here. I do sometimes hear voices coming up from the wells. Obviously, the place is now haunted by the restless spirits of the beautiful Gerudo, uh, who were slain by the strange monsters. If not careful, the same monsters might get me too. Really? So they killed everything? Okay, that's pretty gruesome, and I really like it. Uh, how am I supposed to... Oh. I was gonna say, how am I supposed to put a bomb in here when I was... when it was too deep? to stand, but, well, here we go. Ow! I knew, I had a feeling that was too close, but whatever. Come on, man, I wasn't even close to that one. Fine, I'll waste my arrows then. Oh, you know what? That's actually really cool. The... <laughs> 
There's a back blast. Like, because it's such a small, condensed area, the fire was spreading further than it normally does. Uh... Okay, that was pointless. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. <gasps> Message and bottle! Message and bottle! Hello? Okay, I can't grab it apparently. I guess it makes sense I gotta get it on land. Uh, it's you at long last. You, the Vo reading this. Are the Vo I was fated to meet. I am the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I am locked away outside the world. Do not worry though, I will send all of my love to you until you come and find me. Uh, stay safe and know we will meet soon. Okay. Cool, I guess. Doesn't really... <laughs> can I... Wait, can I break it? No? Alright. Well, bye-bye, letter. Uh, this seems kind of suspicious, actually. It's you at long last. The Vo reading this. Yeah. Okay, you know what? This really... So it says that there's a shrine on top of me, actually. It's, uh, this really implies to me the well, the haunted well in Ocarina of Time. Where is the shrine? It says there's a shrine here, but I don't see it. Wait, what was that? I don't know. Uh, I think the shrine might be over there in the main throne room, but I'm too interested. I'm invested now. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> Because where are these notes coming from? It's so mysterious in here. I really like it. They're dropping in. Do I tug on it? Oh. Um. Can I actually like grab the rope? I don't think you can in this game. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I can just ascend up, right? It's probably just inside this house. Oh, hey! <gasps> no. Women! There's a vote here, stop it! No? From what? What do you mean, stop him? What are you gonna do? I'm here to save you. You're not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. No. Wait, what? Oh. Hold on. <gasps> Valeria! Oh, great, it's her. It's been some time, Susman. It's all right. This is the chief's permission to enter. Uh, welcome to the shops in our business. Spread the word, let everyone know that this is a rare case. I'm sorry, her voice is terrible. Enduring the strange storm that plagues us, you must have important news to share. I mean, I just kind of wandered in here. What? Oh, I thought you were here to save us. Well, that's okay. You need to find the shops around the town so that you can buy the rest of the, your heat suit. Those creatures called Gibdo uh, suddenly appeared, all attacked our troops and forced us to retreat. The Gibdo uh, have even made their way into town as a result. Dude, that would be so cool if it's actually the Shadow Dungeon or something. Like, in this area. I'm ashamed of our current situation. Uh, search for the princess. I'm sorry it's not a good time. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. Lady Riju, you should visit the runes to the north. How do I visit the runes to the north when I can't see anything? I... <laughs> okay. Sure. Wait, what are these? What? Sapphire circlet. Why is it so expensive? It... It's a foe! What? I know I'm sexy, but go away. Crafted with Gerudo Goldsmith techniques, it's set with sapphire, a gem that harnesses the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. Why? You're a scam artist. That's what you are. A cold resistant helmet. Maybe these have really, really high resistance to them while having very low armor. These earrings are made with amber, a gem that harnesses the power of the land to increase defense when equipped. By four? Like, okay, stupid, whatever. Hello, stupid statue. 
Hey, hey, good looking. I missed you. Uh, I guess I'll get heart containers. Let's be real. I need more heart containers so that I can end up making my uh, phantom Ganon bow stronger. And I'm kind of low key trying to get to the second, uh, the second set of hearts. And we seem to have enough stamina to get pretty much anything done anyway, so it's fine. Bam bam. Still not a second row of hearts, huh? What about now? Second row of hearts? Surely now we've got to the second. Good lord. Can you get like 50 hearts or something? Like, oh, there we go. Three more. Whoa! Avo! Leave me alone, okay? Four star left. Vato. You must be uh, Vo. Everyone is talking about a highly in Vo in archaeology. Oh, find these stupid things. Yeah, sure, I can find them. <laughs> Wait, what? The Stella over here on the left. It says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six Stella. Stella. <laughs> As for the Stella over there on the right, it says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo and eighth channels. An eighth channels and guides the power of these seven. What? Uh, I'm confused, bro. I don't, I, that's okay. Stop talking now. That's okay now. Yeah, stop talking. I get it. Okay, you want to show me your absolutely amazing abs, but stop talking now. That's okay. Something about go and find pictures of them. Sure, whatever. Where's my armor that I can buy? Because that's what I'm looking for. A man? Aren't you a man? Like, what do you... The spa plan is available. What? No, I need... I need fast travel point. That's what I mostly need. Mommy? No, I'm confused, dude. This place is overwhelming me. Apparently, again, there's a shrine really, really close nearby. But I want to explore this area first. And if I can't end up finding the shrine that is nearby, I'm just going to put down my own little fast travel point. Anything over there? Oh! What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that armor? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. Whoa. Uh, you kind of have issues there, lady. You're that special Vo that the god was talking about. Vo and you, class to the Gerudo. Have you set your heart on someone special? I have. Don't hold back anything, do you? Most Vi value honesty in a Vo. That's a great trait for you to have. Uh, you're welcome to sit in the interested class in the rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could come by this evening. Okay, that's kind of creepy and weird, but sure, I'll show up maybe someday. Or never. Okay, so I think I found the entrance. There also seems to be the sand seals here, so I'm assuming that I could rent them and take them outside or something. I'm not sure. This place is uh, pretty confusing to me so far. There's a lot of different places that we can go. Hey, you know what? This might be a mistake, but let's open it up, right? Oh, hey, it's one of those stupid things that she wants a picture of. Yes, it is, but my album is full. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm coming to the surface and I can see the throne room here. Oh, I see the, uh, okay. The, 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 the shrine is like on top of the throne room. That makes sense. You descend seriously is a godsend. Like it just allows you to navigate this area so extremely well. Okay, so I think the princess is over there, but we'll have to tackle that probably in the next episode. This episode's already gonna be super duper long. I'll see if I can cut it down to something a bit more reasonable, but let's finish up with this shrine because we need the fast travel point at the very least. I'm assuming that once we complete whatever dungeon is in the area, it'll probably remove all of the sand, but who knows? We'll have to just wait and see. Okay, so this, you know what? I don't wanna waste my master sword's durability on this. Hello? Oh. Wait, what, really? Oh. Is there another fan somewhere or or can I just rip this one out? Oh, I can, I see. Okay. You know what? There we go. Yeah. The fan shield is badly damaged. It is? <laughs> I 
Well, that's kind of mean. I mean, at least I can kind of just do this. So, it's fine. The fan doesn't seem to be blowing away, which is a bit odd, but whatever. Small key! Oh, there we go. I keep forgetting that the small keys are even a thing. Like, there's a lot to love about these shrines, man. But at the same time, I kind of low-key wish that we would experience some of this cool stuff inside, like, mainline dungeons, you know? Like, it's almost like the main dungeons kind of feel like they're just a smaller version of... Or a bigger version of a shrine. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is the mirror. Uh... Oh, okay. Weird. Do I just... No? What's, what's the deal? Oh, wait a minute. Can I attach it? No? Why are they showing me the mirror? Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even think. I have to activate it, don't I? No? Do I attach it to a shield? I hope this doesn't break my Zonai shield. What? 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 Like, I assume... Okay, another mirror. I assumed the mirror was going to be like the mirror shield. You know? Like, it seems like a cool idea, and then, and then for some reason it just doesn't do... It doesn't make any reflections or anything. Like, it's just, I, I still have yet to find out what the mirror actually, like, does. I'm sure I will eventually, and it might even be that it's something really important towards the dungeon. Kind of knew you'd be in here. Okay, I'm actually going to drop that for the time being so that I can get up here. And then I can use this fan to get rid of this. Which then opens this, and then it gets me the exit. No, it just gets me treasure. I mean, at least that was a cool treasure to go for. <clears throat> what does it actually give me, though? Garbo? Well, I mean, I'll always take 10 arrows, honestly speaking. <laughs> I guess I like that sword, though. Yeah, I like the sword. Why do I always think, like, today, I just keep forgetting that Ascend is a thing, and I don't know why. <laughs> Genuinely confusing myself. Like, seriously. Okay. Why all the mirrors, dude? I really hope that they're about to show me, like, what the mirror is actually used for, because I'm so perplexed. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, so the mirror is, in fact, the same as the mirror shield and yeah okay that's really cool i like that so much dude oh okay that's sweet i don't know how this helps me though because i can't put this on an angle i guess the trick is i'd have to put it up there first and then have it reflect back oh you know what this actually might work <laughs> i just realized yeah, sweet. It, it was already just happened to be at the right level. I was overcomplicating it. Dude, now that I like. That I really like because the mirrors up to this point have been absolutely useless. So at least we're starting to see some practicality to it. Anyways, this episode's been long enough. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.